Hi, and welcome to Friendly Classic TV. I'm Linda Peterson. I'm glad you've joined me today because I'm going to share a quick technique on how to colorize friendly plastic pellets. So you ready to get started? Let's go! Now before we color the plastic, I want to give you um, an idea of some of the things that I use to mix into the plastic. This will kind of jump start your creativity. First of all, I've got some distress embossing powders and some glittery embossing powders. These two things here. I also use alcohol inks. Those give a nice um, translucent effect. You can simply add glitter or if you want to make your own custom colors, you can add any kind of acrylic craft paint. And here's what the friendly plastic pellets look like when they come out of the container. They almost look like the little things that are inside of bean bags. They're white and opaque, but as they melt, they become translucent. So you're going to stick these onto your nonstick baking sheet. Now I'm using these baking sheets. They come from a, a, a kitchen store, and I've simply cut them to size. I'm also using the griddle method, and I have my griddle set on just under 200 degrees. So you'll see as we go through the segment here, hopefully... So it'll take a few minutes for them to turn completely clear like this one. This area right here is ready to go. It's completely clear and this is what we'll be adding our colorant into. Now I'll be working with alcohol ink today. And so all you have to do is just place a couple drops of alcohol ink right on top of the melted plastic and then lift your baking sheet off with a tool, toothpick or something like that. It's okay if your alcohol ink runs around a little bit. It's going to do that. Now your baking sheet is just a little hot to the touch. It's not too bad and it won't burn your fingers, but it is a little hot. And you're simply going to want to peel off the plastic from the baking sheet. Now of course you can work in much larger quantities than what I'm working with. I'm just doing this to show you the technique. And all I'm doing is I'm massaging the color into the plastic. Folding and squishing and rolling and squishing. And as I do that I work the color all the way through the plastic. Sometimes I get a marbly effect. Now the more ink that you put on to the plastic obviously the more opaque it's going to be but I like working with um, the alcohol inks because of the translucent color now remember because it's friendly plastic as it cools it starts to harden so since I no longer have it on to the heat it's getting a little stiffer but at this point it's still stretchy and malleable now let me show you what the effects are, what those effects are that I talked about a little bit earlier the Perlex pigment powders, this is the effect you get. It's a nice kind of a metallic sheen. This is just using plain craft paint. Here I've got the Distress embossing powders, and this embossing powder has a little bit of glitter in it as well. These two almost look like um, stone effects. And this is simply just mixing plain old good old glitter into the friendly plastic pellets. So those are a few ideas to get you started into making your own custom color of friendly plastic. Have fun! Is your mind bursting with colorful ideas? I sure hope so. You can get more project ideas on our website at www.amico.com. And while you're there, just click on the Craft Project Library link. You can also visit us on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. And one other thing I want to share with you before I go is Jana Ewey's book, Friendly Plastic 101. Now this book uses the same griddle techniques that we use today, except Jana uses the strips. And she'll show you how to create some beautiful designer jewelry. That's all for today's episode. I'll see you next time on Friendly Plastic TV.